The MIGNIX project looks at the relationship between migration and development. So on the one hand, we want to know how different aspects of development affect migration, and then we're also interested in how migration affects development. We're looking at that on a local level. So we're looking at it in 25 um, different research areas. So looking at how very specific localized aspects of development um, so, for example, um, changes in, in, in livelihoods and employment, but also how um, new policies changes, for example, um, broader access to social protection could potentially affect migration. And one of the ways we're looking at that is um, through a household survey. And um, this survey is going to cover 12,500 respondents across the 25 research areas. And this is something I've been working on with colleagues for a few months now, developing the sampling strategy, thinking about how we're actually going to reach those people, how we select them, and then also developing the survey tool itself. And this week, we're spending a lot of time talking about the details of this, thinking about how to collect the data we really need and um, not collect any data that we don't want, for example, and um, so there are a lot of really hard decisions to be made this week. We have two to three research areas per country. One of the countries I'm also a country coordinator for is Nigeria. So this is a country um, me and my colleagues are going to do a lot of research in. So, for example, in Nigeria, one of our um, research areas is an area called Down Quarters in Kaduna, that's the second largest city in Nigeria. And Down Quarters is an area around the railway station. They also, they've built a dry harbor there um, recently, and they now have a very good train connection to Abuja, the capital city. So in that area, we're looking at how these new infrastructure developments and the associated livelihood opportunities potentially affected migration. Another area we're looking at in Nigeria is an area called Awe in Nasarara State, and that's an area where a new flagship social protection program has been rolled out recently. So it's a much poorer rural area, um, high levels of poverty and vulnerability, and we want to study the effects of this new social protection program. In the MCNIX project, we also take um, communications and impact maximization really seriously. Um, so one of the ways we do that is by not just focusing on communications like branding and all of that, but actually really closely engaging our end users. And we have two very specific ways for doing that. So one is an end user board, which is our advisory board for Mignex. And we have five end users who are actually here today um, working for the EC, OECD, um, different development agencies who are involved in advising us throughout the project. Another mechanism we have is the end user panel, um, which are also end users including academics, um, people working for different international organizations, um, who engage in the Midnex project on a regular basis, and eventually they'll also get to vote on um, publication topics, for example, they get to have their say on the Midnex project.